Hey, it's Brian from Lumber Revolution. Today, we're gonna make this rolling pin jig that fits these medium-sized rolling pins, and then show you how to engrave on them using the rolling pin jig, and uh, how to decorate them in fun Hocus Pocus Halloween fall colors. So stay tuned, and we're gonna go through that process. So the first thing that we're going to do is to upload our file. We're gonna go to create, upload from the file. We're gonna go find our rolling pin paint jig. There it is, let's open it up. And there it is. You don't have to worry about all this stuff over here. That's just instructions for it. So we're just gonna take all of this right here and move it out of the way slightly and get rid of all of our text because we don't need any of that. So we're gonna select all of this, bring it over, enter in your settings for cut. I've got mine set for there. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go in here and set our focus for right in here. And I'm just using a piece of scrap wood that I had laying around. Um, this is designed, again, for um, Home Depot birch, which is typically within 0.18 to 0.2 inches. Um, you could use anything else that's in that range as well. Um, if you use anything smaller, it's gonna wiggle a lot more. If you use anything bigger, it's not gonna fit. So it's ready to go. So we're gonna hit print and let this go and then we'll assemble it. So now all our pieces are cut, and I had masking on mine, but I took it off. Um, you don't have to mask yours, I just happen to have a scrap piece that had masking. It doesn't matter, because it's a jig. Unless you want to paint your jig, or do something cool to it. For me, I don't care, because we're going to be painting stuff that's on the jig. So, here's how we put it together. We got our two base pieces that are right here, and then you'll notice that we have two pieces that have different size diameters on there. See? See how they're different, like that? So you want to line those up differently. And this is the important part. We want the one that's smaller to go on the outside pieces like that, because that's what's gonna hold our pins. And then we want the bigger ones to go on the inside. And the way that you're gonna line this up is inside markers with the big pin. Put those on the same side. And going like that, and then the outside one's like that, and that's how you do that. Now I'm gonna glue this real quick, and then we're gonna look at it with a rolling pin and see how well it works with that. So here's the gluing. So once we glue it, we're just gonna hold this in place for a couple of seconds. I usually count to like 20 to 30 and the glue is done. You can do wood glue, you can do any kind of glue you want. You can do no glue and it's gonna be fine. I like to glue it so that it stays together so if I pick up one piece, the whole thing doesn't fall apart. So, um, so I think that's been about 30 seconds that we've done it and we should be in good shape. And I forgot to mention too, if you don't wanna ruin your table, do it on something that uh, the glue doesn't stick to. Oh, all right, so everything has been glued. We're gonna go with that. So this is what the jig will look like when it is done. And then we'll get a rolling pin. Here's the rolling pins that it goes on. So for instance, for painting, real quick, you put it on the small ones and then it sits right there and you can paint the inside part without rubbing up against anything else. If you wanna paint the handles of it, put it on this guy and it's there. And then once we're done painting it, we're gonna engrave it. And then the beautiful thing is this is set up for the Glowforge laser at least, maybe for if you have a different laser, uh, it could work as well. But this is set up so that the height is perfectly accurate within the, the tolerance. So that you can sit this down on the bed without the crumb tray and you're ready to go. So we're gonna paint it real quick, then we're gonna engrave it, and then we'll show you the finished product of the rolling pin and how the jig gets used.
loaded our rolling pin jig and rolling pin into the Glowforge and we can see it right here. So we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna set the focus. And we're gonna want it, I'm gonna do the engraving on this side. So I'm gonna click on there and we'll see that it's gonna focus in on that. Let it do its thing where it's gonna run over. Take a quick little shot of it and see how high it is. And once it does that, um, I heard it go back, and so now it's going to adjust for that. It probably won't adjust a whole lot because I already did some focusing on this height. So, and there we go. We're ready to go. And then over here, we're going to engrave the. It's just and the, what we did this with was the text editor within the Glowforge software. So it was just up here. You can insert the text and adjust all this fun stuff with that. It's a great little thing. So. I'm going to take this guy over just slightly and oh, I'm going to go down just a little bit and perfect. That's right where we want it, right there. And then our settings are at a thousand um, speed and full. One thing to notice, uh, to note as well, um, I need to take uh, everything else that I don't want engraved and we're going to get rid of it out of the top or bottom just off of the, uh, the engrave area. So now just this is highlighted, this is the only thing that'll engrave, everything else on the side here will not. Um, so our settings for this are at 1000 and full power for the speed, so that's what it'll engrave at. Um, the other parts of that look like this, 225 lines per inch at this focus height, that doesn't really matter because we set it one pass, speed, power, there we go. So that's what our stuff is at. And now that it's set, it's focused, it's ready to go, we're gonna hit print. Here we go. process of how to cut and use the rolling pin jig to engrave and to paint on all these fun colors and whatnot under these rolling pins. If you would like to order the jig uh, as a laser file, you can do that in the description down below uh, from our website. And uh, if you would like to order rolling pins, we buy these in bulk and we get a lot of them. By a lot of them, I mean I mean a lot of them. Uh, we sell them for a dollar a piece plus four dollars shipping. You can order as many of them as you would like. So the link for that's also down in the description. Thanks for tuning in with us today. We hope you have a great day and make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.